So, you know, it's it's become a, a whole family affair. I, I have grandkids. I'm, I'm helping one of my grandkids right now fix a 70, 70 uh, Chevy that I bought for his dad when he was a senior. So now... You know, his dad kind of didn't take care of it very good, so uh, the next generation. He's got a little bit more of my trait. He likes Pendletons. He likes a hat. He likes, you know, to be clean and slick, you know. So so we're working back there. We're working on a 70 Chevy. And to th this weekend, I'm taking him to his first car swap meet in Turlock. Okay, well, that, I'm taking my grandson. That's, that's going to be a great honor. And teach him. You know, I, we 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 uh, we teach our young people how to take care of these cars. You know, it brings us together. It it, it allows us to spend some time together. And and for for grandfathers, it allows us to do things that we didn't do with our sons or daughters. It gives us a second chance. That's the way I see it. As a grandfather and great grandfather, you know. So uh, we're gonna go. I told him if he's really interested. And he really gets on, I said, I'll buy you your first set of wheels. He just, his eyes just went up like that. So I use that as a way to help help, help it, my, my son and my daughter-in-law to raise him. And this is what I can do. I couldn't do it back then, you know. I mean, uh, I wish we, we, we would have had the resources, but we didn't. But not, But I can do it now. Not that I can build it all for him, but I want him to work for it. You know, I don't want him to say, you know, my grandpa or my dad just gave me this. No, -uh. you got to clean it. You got to do it. So I'm teaching him how to wash the car, clean, because it's been parked for a while. So we're starting again, you know. Uh, um, and, and, and it's, it's I'm spending more time with him than I did with my son when I bought Because I did everything for my son. I got it then. I had it painted. I got it all clean for him. And then I gave him the keys. This time, with my grandson, I get to have him, him build the car. Yeah, there's more investment. There's a, there's a, there's that time commitment. Of course, it always costs money, you know. But, <laughs> but yeah. yeah. Uh, well, one he'll he'll learn the <clears throat> the value of money. Uh, the value of, of if if he wants to buy something, you know, he has yeah, he's gonna have to work. No. Even right now, I tell me, you know, you work in the shop. You go clean the shop, help Ali as the mechanic. Because the mechanic's back there, he's going to help you. But you got to help him. So go over there and see what it maybe throw, you know, throw some trash out, throw, you know, uh, do little things like that. You know, that's the way you start. And you develop a relationship with him because he's the one that's going to teach you. I'm, I'm not a mechanic, you know. Uh, he's got to, he's going to teach you. He loves teaching. I said, but he's not going to teach you. If you're lazy, he's not going to teach you. So I'm trying to have respect, integrity, honesty, and the ganas, the ganas to succeed. From there, he can go and be a, develop, you know, other, you know, get, he might want to get into science, he might want to get into mathematics, he might want to get into... Um, you know, engineering, you know, so he has options because the school's not giving him that. You know, the schools don't have those programs anymore. Very rare, you know. So we in the, in the, in the community can offer those young people that. My grandson is um, 12. Mm -hmm. I think he's 13, yeah. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's the same age that that, uh, that I was. I'm the oldest of my family now, and I, I came from a family of 300 or more. <laughs> you know, um, so so you know, those are the things that I that I look forward to today. You know, will he stay with it? I hope so. Um, you know.